Good morning from Shanghai Railway Station. Today, I'm taking you guys on an adventure. I'm very excited. I've never traveled in China before. I have no idea what to expect. But we're gonna take a high-speed train today to Yiwu. It's busy. It's one of the two times in a year that the Chinese people have holidays. The Chinese New Year and the Mid-Autumn Festival. So it's gonna be very busy. I'm curious to see what's inside. I also don't understand anything, so we'll just go with the flow. Honestly, I've never seen anything this big, of such size. We made it true. Ni hao. Uh, this, 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 onion piece, mayonnaise please. Sure, sure. So guys, everything you pay for here, you pay with your phone. You pay with WeChat or Alipay. One and a half hours to go. I think we're going about 300 kilometers per hour now, which is crazy to think. The air is different here. Made it to you. Going to explore. Trade city is over there. I've been walking here for five minutes and the only thing I see is shops that sell pearls and beads and jewelry related items. And people come here for wholesale. They buy in large amounts from all over the world. That's why this place is so known. It's also the biggest in the entire world. And the fun thing is, this is only the beginning. This is not even the the center where we're going now. Let's go. We're going to the trade market. Actually, I had to put the seat up, but it's all right. It's not that far. Now we're entering the toy market. A bunch of plushies. I suppose later also electronic toys. <laughs> That's sick, that's sick. Ah, so you control it with your hand. Mm. Ah. I don't know English. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Thanks, man. They have some cool toys here. Look at this one. If you come here as a kid, it's paradise. Look at this guy with the ball. Damn. Whoa. Look at this. Wow. Crazy. So just to give you an idea, this was all on the lower floor. Now we go one floor up and there'll be a bunch of jewelry. Anything you're looking for, you can find here. So if you're looking to start a business, come to Yiwu. To give you an idea about how big it is here, there's east, west, north, all these districts with different floors. Thousands, hundreds, no, let's say tens of thousands of shops. Building number one done. As you can see, we're there and it's all connected from building to building. And there is building number two. And in building number two, they have electronics and much more. We're gonna check it out. building there's a bunch of appliances home appliances the things you can find on Taobao Aliexpress you see them here in real life camera equipment these everything you can think of toasters kitchen stuff your daily needs the things you use every day for very cheap from close to the factory you can find here uh, no 12 Twelve, no, this small. Yeah, small. Yeah. Hello. 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 I come for uh, Dyson. Uh, Dyson, Dyson. Yes, Dyson. Uh, yeah, this one. 
Power. Yeah. How much is this? Uh, how many pizza? One piece. One pizza? Yeah, one piece. One piece of uh, 150. One five zero. This one. So five, one four three four five. Uh -huh. It's a, a small one. Small one. One piece. Ah, uh, one piece. So, guys, this is a Dyson, obviously a knockoff, but it costs 20 euros instead of how much, like 400 or more in Europe. So, this just shows how much of a profit there is on the product. I'm not saying that the build quality of this is the same. It looks the same, it's good. So in Yiwu, there's about 35,000 Arabs and Turks, which comes with a lot of good food. Chicken. Chicken. Big kebab, fish. That's why we're here at a place. He's gonna put it on the grill. It's gonna look very nice. It looks very nice, so. It smells very nice too, so very curious to see. No matter where you are, if you're traveling, if you're at home, try to fit in that exercise. Try to go to the gym and get that body moving. You'll feel a lot better about yourself and I feel a lot better about myself. Today we're going to Yiwu, District 3, 4 and 5. Very curious to see what's out there. We're gonna check it out together. We have arrived to District 4 and the first floor is full of socks so we're gonna check it out this place is even bigger than the other ones it spans much further at least all the way till there and then till there endless see the numbers socks all these stores here so let's take a look at what's here all the shapewear leggings anything you can think of basically with regards to underwear and all of that so for example this guys this is a full set of loungewear very warm very thick and it's 60 yuan you could probably sell this for four times more in europe america look at these gymshark type of items so guys as you can see there's like this communication barrier so you can talk about price because it's very convenient you have the calculator and stuff but the moment it gets a bit more difficult and you need to know about minimum order quantity and just the basics then you gotta talk in Chinese guys what can I say I'm a bit overwhelmed by this place to be honest there's so many shops selling the same items the endless options if you come here with a plan and you have a certain idea in mind something that you want to start you can definitely find it here probably get an agent who can guide you through all these shops because let's say you want to do something in loungewear where I was walking I already saw maybe 50 shops and there's probably 1000 of them selling only loungewear so it's a great place if you're looking for business um, and there's opportunities 4.7 yuan for a pair 5.6 so they just shows what are the costs? From upstairs, where they were selling automotive parts, to literally one level down, where they sell carpets, rugs, 
bedding supplies for hotels incredible what do you think guys should i get this for at home it looks pretty cool though what's up g hello we got another one of these uh hair dryers pretty good so yeah we're good to go all right shisha thank you bye bye <laughs> we've seen all five buildings yes we rushed through them did i have any business there no i just wanted to see it show you guys seeing what's there uh, what are the prices and what is my conclusion everything is very cheap if you buy at yiwu and they got the stuff in stock they ship it out immediately if you want goes in one of these trucks to whatever country you want Yiwu trip has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you again in the next one.